Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can switch between the third person and the first person camera for a metahuman. So let's go! First of all we will using the metahuman from the last tutorial, of course link is in the description, so let's open him up and open up his parent class. So the sandbox character. Here we have the event graph with all the functions. First of all we will fix the begin play here, so we pull this out a little bit, unplug this one, we just need those functions here, put them right here, we can delete this one here, we don't need it anymore, and just connect it. Now we are able to aim and use some other functions as well, so compile and save this. Next we go to the viewport because we need a first person camera. So this is our third person camera and this is our gameplay camera, so we can't use this one. So let's create another one, just go to the mesh, search for the camera and let's call this first person camera. Open up the details. First of all we have the parent socket, we attach it to the head in this case. You can see we need to rotate it like that. So let's put it to 90 degrees and as well in this case minus 90 degrees, a little bit more forward like that. Also very important to check the use pawn control rotation, so compile and save that. When we go back to our metahuman we can adjust the first person camera especially for our metahuman. As you can see he's a little bit bigger, so we just put it upwards here, like that. Then we go back to our sandbox character and open up the event graph. Now we need a function to switch between the third person camera and the first person camera. So for this one just say we use the V key, then we pull out the camera. If you want you can rename this to let's say third person camera, so it's more clearly, and as well the first person camera. Then we go from the press and say flip, flop, we go from the third person camera and say set active for A, copy and paste this down here as well for the third person, we can copy and paste this back here for the first person. So when we press A for the first time, we have the third person deactivated, the first person activated, and on B the opposite. When we now go back to the level and press play, we can switch the camera with V and we have a first person camera. But the problem is, the character doesn't turn in place. So we need to fix that. Let's go back to our sandbox character and open up the update rotation pre-CMC. This function is exactly for the in-place rotation of the character. And as you can see we set the aim or strafe status and have the control desired rotation. So we can close this one, go up to the aim function and basically copy and paste this part here down here. Let's put this up here and we just copy and paste this down here connected. Up here we want to set the ones to aim to true and back here to false. That's it. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play, press V and when we now turn in place the character turns as well. And we can of course move around, the character rotates as well. Great. And we press V again, we have the normal rotation in the third person camera. Great! So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye!